Well, the classic name is fuck it and go for a triangle. So, of course, what would fit more than flying triangle? But of course, we can't start flying triangles from the stand up because there are a lot of white belts and a lot of people generally. So, we're going to do it from the ground basically. Um, somebody. Usually, you would just, yeah, for example, you're fighting, he's getting the underhook, and you're doing this kind of things, and you can just jump in for the triangle. But of course, if you do it wrong, you can, if you do it like 20 times, at least you're going to do it one time wrong and you're going to hurt yourself. So we're going to uh, practice it from the ground. So. And actually, the situation is also come on. Like, we have often those kind of fights. Try to jump in for the. That's like a really good situation where you can attack it because you pull him down and he has to post. The moment he posts, you can just jump in. But this is like just like for a warm up to get used to it. The best thing you can do is like once he posts, you catch him here. That way you can easily jump in without uh, like he could pull back, you know. But if, if you have this, close it. Just, just to close it, you know. Don't have to do all this stuff here. Yeah, just the entry for the triangle. Sometimes it's even like this and he tries to get there. Let me just jump in. Just do this a couple of times for warm up. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, exactly. So you just get it down a little bit and this one also, you don't put it here, you just use all your body strength and weight to do a little bit of this exactly. Then it happens again and you just go for a triangle. It's like so easy. You can try it on nearly anyone. Just sometimes you can even you do this, you touch his hand and then it gets actually quite easy. Yeah, let's try this couple of minutes. So for this one, you need to catch him like this. Um, like this would be not for the to have, him have his elbow isolated. You pull yourself a little bit out, you have to really hold on and put this foot here. It looks like it's nothing, but it prevents him from blocking the triangle. Just kick a little bit and slide in. Hold, hold on for dear life because that's you need him to be close to you. Then you push here and it might look like an arm but might look like a basic triangle but he would think he's gonna definitely defend this one. But then you do this. And he can't use that arm for like a second. That's enough to get the triangle. Okay, so we pull him down. You have to do that like after you do this, you have to really pull down. Be fast. Can't, can't be too slow. Okay? One more time. Question. Yeah? The, your opponent's natural reaction. Are they going to be pushing into you? Depends. If he's, if he's pushing in, you actually can push him a little bit away. Mm -hmm. But eventually once, I mean, you're pulling him. His natural reaction is more like pulling away. That's why I say you have to pull like crazy for a second. Then just put this foot in the way. Even if he's like this, just put it here so he can't use the arm. Because he can usually would like quickly defend it, just do this foot. Once you have that foot just somewhere here, it will make it harder for him to get that arm. Yes, yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay, let's try a couple of times. First, uh, just another detail that works for normal triangles, back triangles, inverted triangles. Once you have it, you know, they are like very tough people. I mean, of course, if it's here, it's never gonna work, but usually you at least can do this. But then there are those crazy strong guys who just do a grip like this and just push into you and you can't finish. But there's like a little space here and you go in here and grab your own shin. And then just squeeze, like you squeeze your own leg, to use, to use this arm to push this leg in. And you close. This adds like at least 20%, which usually up the 20% missing. It works for the back triangle, the normal one, and every triangle, right? So now, let us start the more funny stuff. If you're really strong, it's, if you have big hands, you can just do it like this. But if you have smaller hands, you should try to get something like this. You need a lot of strength for short moments so it doesn't run away. You go practically for like a spider guard. Of course, nobody does that nogi, but it can work. Usually, you can go for a omoplata here, spinning like this. But since this class is about triangles, we're not going to do this. So, you have him here close to yourself, don't like this, you need to use all your strength you have. And you're much stronger if your arms are close to the body. You have to pull him towards you, not only with your hands, but also with your foot. Then, you 
can first secure him like that if you want. And once you're here, you really need to have as much. You can also squeeze your legs together for a second, and hook him with your right, right foot hook. And then pull him, and at the same time, you invert. See, I'm pulling his arm in towards the end. Then you get the triangle. Let's try this. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Pull here. You know, it's kind of hard to do it slow. You have to do it fast. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, still the same thing. Go here. But now, maybe it's giving some pressure or whatever, and I can't really do that perfectly, and I end up here. Just have to get my butt to here by push up. You can close it like this. Okay. Looks a bit weird. Though. It's quite nice. And you try to invert. It's basically the same as you tried before, but he tries to stack me or something, and like he, it's like he's begging for it. <laughs> Just get the hands so easily. You can try to submit them here. You can try to add the little details. Or you can even go for a three. And still try to do this thing. Okay. One more time. Then I'm here. And I'm gonna try to invert. Like, even if it's like completely failing, you end up kind of stacked as long as you hold on. Like for, for this arm, you definitely have to keep the arm. That's like the most important thing. Once you kick up here, you can catch him pretty easily. It's like, it turns, it can still turn into this normal one, to the normal triangle. Like, it depends how you react. But, it can also turn into the back triangle. Just go, and you have to pull him here. See? You can sweep him in any direction. Basically, once you have this, it's like, almost a sure win. There are like a f only a few ways to get out of this. It's really hard. You just keep choking. If he's like too tough to get choked, you have like forever to lock him in any different ways. Okay, let's go. A couple of ways of how I get the triangle from the back. First one is kind of looks kind of confusing, but it's actually quite easy. You have the over under. You get the arm if possible as far as possible to his hand, and then you start choking him. And usually, yeah, he does this and you just go back with your elbow close to your thigh get around your own leg. Now you try to switch this. And now you already have the triangle. It's like basically almost impossible to defend it anymore. And it's not choking him, but still got a strong arm bar and it can turn into one that will choke him. We go like this. It can be a neck crank, or you can also do this little trick that I showed to make it even tighter. Okay. So just pay attention to what goes in where because it's really confusing at the first at the beginning. Here, here, try choking him. Around your own leg. Switch here. You know, just get it in. So, armbar, or just turn towards him, catch his leg. It's it very annoying neck leg. I do this. Okay. One more time or? Yes. One more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we are here. Try to always grip him as far as possible to his hand because then your control is much stronger. Because if it's here, you might lose it if you just stretch out his arm. It's, it's hard to keep him. Look, I'm wrist locking myself. So we get him here. Push here and slide this leg out. And so, like this first. Then like this, just choking right away. Mm -hmm. For this little nasty trick. Okay, let's go. This one is quite tricky. You do the same, but before you might not even notice that you actually have it in your leg because it feels just the same, especially when you are like fighting and you don't even know what's going on. Now you go here. You basically already have that super strong triangle setup. Of course, you need to do some angle work, like 
first and over under. Catch this arm. This is like I think the hardest part. If you mess up here, it's like not possible. But once you have this, just get that leg over. It looks very confusing for him. Maybe he doesn't even know what's going on. Just grip your own leg. And now be careful. Just don't lose this because you're like almost surely about to triangle him. Just don't mess it up. Now I have it close and I still don't let go because this is okay. It's also very strong can submit him, but with the hand together, it's like even stronger. You know? Pushing your own leg to the side. Yeah. And even if he, maybe he's super strong, he's still taking it. You can just keep it here. And Push yourself up again, make it even stronger. So, one more time. You can also oops, just do it quickly, like this. Not, not really a way to defend this. I mean, you can't get that arm out here like this. You just have to get that leg over here. And then you slide back slowly, that makes it tighter. Yeah? Okay, let's go. Okay. We have the back mount. Um, I'm, I'm kind of quick. It's, it's, it's not, I'm not trying actually to teach you each of those techniques. I just want to get you this principle of triangles. Because you can basically get them from everywhere. So, and if you like the techniques, you can just look up the video that he's making. So that's how I teach. That's why I'm so fast. I just like to show a lot. So for this one, it's quite simple and easy. Just grab your own foot. Like most stupid way it's like just one step and it's very surprising because nobody expects you to go from here to under him it's similar like this uh, bad job from Majid H he takes it from here and falls down yeah you just have to yeah that's the hardest part but you have to fight something right? not, not everything is easy in BJJ you have to get the arm through here you can maybe try to get the seat belt and pull your own arm in then you grab your own ankle like just like this And just pull it very close to his body. You can still switch here and add more pressure. Yeah. Let's try this. One more time? Or? I mean, it's quite simple, right? <laughs> this time, you just have the over under. You get this foot here. You have to pull like this. It looks a bit like a, it's, it's kind of like a. Peruvian necktie just the other way around. Just get your leg in here. And you, you notice it's already getting tight. It's like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Actually, I, I planned to close it. Well, I guess it was too tight before because you have like your whole body pushing. This is very strong. Yeah. Try to go under. And maybe it's not letting me get my hooks in. So get my hand really in deep. Even if you, if you lose balance, it doesn't matter. See? The only aim you have is to get your ankle to your hand. Once you're here, you just have to hold on and look what he's doing and slowly getting it tighter. See? See? You don't even have to close it. And usually try, like, try to escape, try to do something. If you want to do something, it basically allows me to close it. And I can just submit it. Look, there's so much. Yeah. It's like kind of similar to the crucifix before, just the other way around. Yeah. This arm, you can close it like this. One more time. So I'm here. You have to try to get this one really in deep. Like practically just exactly the opposite of what you did in the move before. Now you get here. This, this can even also already choking sometimes. Switch to this. Depending how he reacts now, you just wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Then you just have to get this leg here, this arm here, and connect to your foot. And then you just let yourself go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's try, that's the last one. I know it's very confusing, but just try, okay? He showed me the triangle when I was like white belt. And the first thing I thought was like, okay, could I do it the other way around? Could I do it from the back? And that's how you improve like your techniques a lot. You just get something and play with it. I've been doing that since I was white belt. And people even told me sometimes, why are you doing this? This is wrong. And I was like, yeah, no, it's wrong. But I like jiu-jitsu. I just like to try out. So 
that way you can sometimes like find little gems that most people don't know, like secret, kind of secret things. Usually everybody found out about it before. Like I always find some new move and then I look YouTube, look Google um, instructions and at some point I find some guy, oh fuck, he's got that move already, so it's not mine, but still that way you get like the best moves that you usually would never find. If you, like if you only learn what you've been taught and everybody knows, um, what you're doing, like everybody is trying to copy all the, like the Menes brothers and the Miao brothers, but even, even those people, like the top world people, they always say, try to do your own thing, because that's what usually defines them, they have their own certain ways of doing things, and that's what I'm trying to teach you, just try to play around, try to have fun, and don't try to get it too boring, so hope you liked it, that's it.